The 2004 Wisconsin State Quarter, part of the United States Mint's 50 State Quarters program, is notable for a unique and intriguing minting error known as the Extra Leaf Error. This error has fascinated numismatists and collectors alike due to its rarity and the mystery surrounding its creation. In this essay, we will explore the historical context of the Wisconsin State Quarter, the details of the extra leaf error, its discovery, and its impact on the coin's value and collectability. The 50 State Quarters Program The 50 State Quarters Program was launched by the United States Mint in 1999, running until 2008. This program aimed to honor each of the 50 states by releasing a unique quarter design for each state, with five new designs issued per year in the order that states ratified the Constitution or were admitted to the Union. The series became one of the most successful numismatic programs in history, drawing interest from millions of Americans and significantly boosting coin collecting as a hobby. Discovery of the Extra Leaf Error Shortly after the release of the Wisconsin State Quarter, collectors began to notice something unusual about some of the coins. In December 2004, it was reported that certain quarters appeared to have an extra leaf on the left side of the corn's ear. This discovery led to the identification of two distinct variations of the error the extra leaf high and the extra leaf low. Extra leaf high asterisk in this variation, the additional leaf appears higher on the left side of the corn, almost touching the main ear of corn. Extra leaf low in this variation, the extra leaf is positioned lower, further away from the main ear of corn. Both variations are believed to have been caused by a die gouge, a defect in the die used to strike the coins. However, the exact cause of the error remains a subject of debate among numismatists. Some speculate that it may have been a deliberate act by a mint employee, while others believe it was an accidental occurrence during the minting process. Rarity and distribution, the extra leaf error quarters were primarily discovered in a small number of states, including Arizona, Texas, and Wisconsin. The error is believed to have originated from the Denver Mint, where a portion of the Wisconsin state quarters were produced. The relatively limited geographic distribution of these error coins has contributed to their rarity and desirability among collectors. The extra leaf high and extra leaf low leaf varieties of the 2004 D. Wisconsin quarter are without a doubt the most popular and interesting varieties of the entire statehood quarter series. They seem to have been made by an unscrupulous mint worker with some sort of tool before the dyes were put into use striking coins. Both varieties bring large premiums of hundreds of dollars today. The statehood quarters program produced very few coin varieties, making any error coins under this program quite valuable. One of the very few varieties is the 2004 Wisconsin Extra Leaf Quarters. The low and high leaf varieties feature an extra maize husk on the left, one hanging low and the other placed slightly higher. This extra husk is a big deal and is considered an error because it is absent from regular Wisconsin state quarters. It would be safe to say that the Wisconsin Extra Leaf Quarters are the most significant minting errors in the entire state quarter series. A 2004 D. Wisconsin State Quarter Extra Leaf Low graded MS-67 was auctioned in 2020 for a record-breaking $6,000. Some Wisconsin quarter errors were found with an extra cornstalk leaf, either pointing down, low leaf, or pointing up, high leaf. The normal cause would be metal shavings accidentally lodged in the die, creating a gouge from the coin striking action, however, some of the Wisconsin quarters that were released in 2004 have a small design difference that shows an extra leaf on the illustrated corn husk. Collectors have debated whether the extra leaf had been stamped by accident or with intent, according to the Littleton Coin Company, a New Hampshire-based coin seller. Another low leaf sold in early 2020 went for $6,000. Others have sold for hundreds of dollars. Wisconsin State Quarters, error or otherwise, can be difficult to find, they were the third fewest produced after Oklahoma and Maine. The value of the 2004 Wisconsin State Quarter with the extra leaf error varies significantly based on its condition and the specific variation of the error. Generally, the extra leaf high variation is considered more valuable than the extra leaf low variation due to its slightly greater rarity. The market for these error quarters has seen fluctuations over the years, influenced by factors such as the overall economy, the demand for state quarters, and the availability of high-grade specimens. Nonetheless, the extra leaf error has remained a sought-after collectible, often serving as a highlight in collections of state quarters and error coins. Collectability and numismatic significance, the 2004 Wisconsin State Quarter with the extra leaf error holds a special place in the world of numismatics due to its combination of historical significance, rarity, and the intriguing story behind its creation.
For collectors, it represents a unique piece of American coinage history and an example of the types of errors that can occur during the minting process. Historical Context The Wisconsin State Quarter is part of a larger narrative that celebrates the history and culture of each state. The extra leaf error adds an additional layer of interest, transforming an already significant coin into a numismatic curiosity. Rarity The relatively small number of extra leaf error quarters contributes to their allure. Unlike more common minting errors, these quarters are difficult to find, making them prized additions to collections. Mystery and speculation The uncertainty surrounding the origin of the error has fueled speculation and intrigue among collectors. Whether intentional or accidental, the error's existence prompts questions about quality control and the inner workings of the minting process. Conclusion The 2004 Wisconsin State Quarter with the extra leaf error is a fascinating example of how a small variation in the minting process can create a significant impact in the world of coin collecting. Its rarity, historical context, and the mystery surrounding its creation have combined to make it one of the most sought-after error coins from the 50 State Quarters program. For numismatists and collectors, the extra leaf error quarter represents not only a valuable piece of currency but also a tangible link to the rich tapestry of American history and the enduring appeal of numismatics. Discovered what would soon become key to the state quarter series. He found what appeared to be an extra leaf coming from the ear of corn on a Wisconsin state quarter. After examination, two different varieties were found, one with an extra leaf high and one with an extra leaf low. These two coins would generate a nationwide search, an investigation, and hundreds of thousands of dollars in the coin market. Soon after the discovery, the first set of the three coins was offered on eBay and sold for $1.65. Since the find had not yet been disclosed, no market had been created for these coins. However, just a few weeks later, the coins were featured in Coin World, Numismatic News, Message Boards, and other numismatic media. The word spread and the search began. Thousands of the varieties sprung up in the Arizona, New Mexico and Texas areas. These coins were in high demand and prices quickly increased to a few hundred dollars a coin. NGC began certifying the pieces in late 2004. This was a choice not without controversy, but after close examination of the coins they were found to be not only significant, but seemingly not accidental in nature. Thousands of coins were certified from AU to MS-68 and the higher grade the example, the more of a premium one could get for the coin. The question that plagued many at the time of the discovery still persists. What caused the variety in the first place? The shape, size, detail, and placement of the die gouges are too perfect for coincidence. While it is possible that it could happen accidentally, chances are that a die problem striking incident is not a cause. Others have suggested die clashing but due to the sharpness, placement, and lack of other die clashing evidence, it is not likely. A more likely possibility is intentional die damage and manipulation. The true cause may never be known. Regardless, the variety was quickly accepted as relevant, not only by experts but by collectors and the marketplace as a whole. These pieces were easily accepted as a requirement for a state quarter set by many collectors. While this series is typically readily available and highly collected, these pieces were scarce with only one of each die striking all of the coins produced. Since the coins were made for general circulation, no attempt by the United States Mint was made towards condition preservation being that all pieces were found in rolls and change, grade became a crucial factor. To date, NGC has graded over 8,000 extra leaf quarters of both varieties. Of that, only 8 extra leaf high have graded MS-68, and 2 extra leaf low have graded MS-68. 330 extra leaf high have graded MS-67 and 1 MS-67 PL, with 304 extra leaf low grading MS-67 and only 1 MS-67 PL. Often sold in sets, a set of MS-68 coins was last being offered with a price tag exceeding $32,000. A MS-67 set will sell in excess of $3,000 and a MS-66 set will sell in excess of $2,000. While the prices seem high for a coin found in circulation, one must remember that grade is the key factor in their desirability. Regardless of what caused the variety, it turned a generic state quarter into the most desired in the series to date. With the variety being added to the Red Book, it has established itself as a piece that will be collected and desired for many years to come. The 2004 Wisconsin State Quarter, part of the United States Mint's 50 State Quarters program, is notable for a unique and intriguing minting error known as the Extra Leaf Error. 
This error has fascinated numismatists and collectors alike due to its rarity and the mystery surrounding its creation. In this essay, we will explore the historical context of the Wisconsin State Quarter, the details of the extra leaf error, its discovery, and its impact on the coin's value and collectability. The 50 State Quarters Program The 50 State Quarters Program was launched by the United States Mint in 1999, running until 2008. This program aimed to honor each of the 50 states by releasing a unique quarter design for each state, with five new designs issued per year in the order that states ratified the Constitution or were admitted to the Union. The series became one of the most successful numismatic programs in history, drawing interest from millions of Americans and significantly boosting coin collecting as a hobby. Discovery of the Extra Leaf Error Shortly after the release of the Wisconsin State Quarter, collectors began to notice something unusual about some of the coins. In December 2004, it was reported that certain quarters appeared to have an extra leaf on the left side of the corn's ear. This discovery led to the identification of two distinct variations of the error, the extra leaf high and the extra leaf low. Extra leaf high asterisk in this variation, the additional leaf appears higher on the left side of the corn, almost touching the main ear of corn. Extra leaf low in this variation, the extra leaf is positioned lower, further away from the main ear of corn. Both variations are believed to have been caused by a die gouge, a defect in the die used to strike the coins. However, the exact cause of the error remains a subject of debate among numismatists. Some speculate that it may have been a deliberate act by a mint employee, while others believe it was an accidental occurrence during the minting process. Rarity and distribution, the extra leaf error quarters were primarily discovered in a small number of states, including Arizona, Texas, and Wisconsin. The error is believed to have originated from the Denver Mint, where a portion of the Wisconsin State Quarters were produced.